rumor, BTS's Jimin and TWICE's Chung Yun really can't stand each other. This rumor has become a running joke between ONCE's and ARMYs. They believe that something is going on between Jimin and Chung Yun, dot, but they're not sure what. The rumors began after a few Jimin and Chung Yun interaction clips surfaced. In them, these idols seem like they can't stand being in the same room with each other. In this one, Jimin appears to be shooting Chung Yun a look when she begins singing along with BTS. Your browser does not support video. In this one, most of the Twice members laugh when Jimin appears on the screen. Chung Yun, on the other hand, looks thoroughly unimpressed. Your browser does not support video. Some Redditors speculated that the bad blood could have been caused by a past dating experience. Ad choice as advertising in red invented by Teeds My One Dollar is on them having dated before Jimin's debut and broken up unwillingly when he debuted. I have zero facts to support this and purely going off of my gut feeling. I don't even know if they lived in the same city back then. I read somewhere that the reason is because Jimin rejected Chung Yun for Silgi. What a wild theory. This is hilarious. They really look like they hardcore dislike each other. Considering that BTS and TWICE have a lot of promo cycle that synced up I wonder what happened. Maybe they dated and broke up. Maybe Jimin dated someone JY knew. Maybe they are in love and this is all a huge front. I love this beef. These rumors are likely just rumors, but if they did turn out to be true, the internet might explode. Your browser does not support video, too. Rumor, CJE. The rise of CJE. Instead of training and debuting their own idols, they can create produce groups with trainees that other companies have put money into and trained. CJE. For this reason, some netizens don't think a certain 101 member's success was entirely due to his talent. Kang Daniel is certainly a talented guy, but he also just so happens to be from MMO Entertainment which just so happens to be under CJE. Isn't it lucky how he managed to take the top spot in produce thus guaranteeing any future MMO group at least some attention? Between the Big 3 and Big Hit Entertainment, CJE. Rumor, LOONA is a money laundering scheme. Rumor has it that LOONA is actually an elaborate money laundering scheme due to the profits they have earned for their company, Blockbury Creative. Some netizens think it's suspicious how much the group has supposedly improved their company's sales in a short time, claiming that LOONA doubled their profits in a year. If this is true, netizens believe it would affect LOONA's popularity in Korea. YYXY doubled OEC's sales before even doing a repackage, 13k up from 6.5k. At this rate they aren't going to be inconspicuous for much longer, will be hilarious if it actually is a money laundering scheme but the people they hired did their job so well it became obvious. LOONA being exposed as a money laundering scheme would probably kill any chance they have in Korea and probably start some investigations into a few other companies. International fans probably wouldn't care. 4. Rumor, if a currently active idol came out as homosexual, it would shake the Korean music world. Some Redditors believe that if a current idol became as open about their homosexuality as Holland is, it could change K-pop forever. They believe that the reactions to such a coming out would be mixed, to say the least. International fans are likely to be more accepting than domestic fans, especially those from an older generation. Some netizens also think that the public's reaction would depend on which idol came out. Taeyeon are you a huge public figures and Halley stars, they'd shake up Asia a bit. Yuri would probably cause the least stir since she's not as popular and a lot of people already assume she is lol. It would be different simply because SNSD's fan base is from an older generation than TWICE is. TWICE has a younger generation in Korea that has shown to be statistically, and actually, more open-minded than their peers have been. That said, active K-stars are unlikely to risk their livelihood to come out of the closet. Since homosexuality is not widely accepted in Korea, a coming out could potentially end an idol's career. This is going to take a huge toll on the idol, and I don't think anyone would willingly do this unless they were outed themselves. Nothing good can come out of it, they'll be under public scrutiny and this will be terrible for whatever future relationships they have. Also, forget the general public of the death of their careers, filial piety and family are huge things in Korea, and a majority if not almost all of the older generations are extremely, extremely homophobic. 5. Rumor, BTS had an eighth member. 
BTS went through a number of lineup changes during their formation process, leaving Room as the group's only original founding member. Some fans believe that BTS was supposed to have an eighth member in addition to the final seven ones. A number of threads on Twitter have been specially dedicated to theorizing about the mysterious eighth member. Fans have made various intriguing and hilarious suggestions that have made many wonder who this mystery member is and what would happen if his identity were uncovered. When you're Taylor Swift and you have to convince concert security you're the eighth member of BTS so show them this photo pic.twitter.com slash ik7 delikbay, waiting for you and Panman at Abundance of Soap, July 17, 2018 6. Rumor, B-L-A-C-K-P-I-N-K's Jenny is dating, somebody. Jenny is a total catch, so it's no wonder why she's been involved in dating rumors, even if some of them seem a little far-fetched. In one rumor, Jenny has been named as Yang Hyun Suk's object of desire. Yang Hyun Suk doing Blackpink dirty so they won't be as successful so he can get with Jenny and marry her. She has also been paired with two Teds. One is YG Entertainment producer Teddy Park. The other is a former YG Entertainment trainee named Teddy. Some people argued that she was actually dating Teddy, not Teddy, a former YG trainee. He was talking about his life as YG trainee and he implied that he was dating Jenny. He was pretty close with Sung Yoon, Jin Woo, B.I. and Bobby too, there were some Frida Buck pictures of them with him. Jenny certainly is popular in the dating rumor department, but who wouldn't want to date this cutie? 7. Rumor, Jessica was kicked out of Girls' Generation by her own members. To this day, no one seems to know exactly why Jessica left her group, but it seems to have been a matter of having different priorities. Even so, some netizens still speculated that bullying may have contributed to her departure, based on videos that supposedly show the members harassing Jessica. Others, on the other hand, argue that the bullying clips were taken out of context. Those videos and GIFs are honestly one of the most ridiculous part of K-pop fandoms, only rivaled by all those videos of shipping moments. You could make videos like them with any other member too by taking snippets out of context. The amount of tiny moments these people take and run with. They could probably make a good case that I hate my own mum cause I turned my back on her once okay, now imagine if those GIFs and videos weren't actually out of context and stuff. See how that would make the K-pop industry implode. The surprising reason you may never hear TWICE's J-Lines